beautiful cancers thank you so much for tuning and tapping into higher frequency my name is q and i'm here to do your general reading beloveds i will each and every one of you beautiful souls are feeling amazing on this saturn's day i am Definitely ready to tap in, tune in, see what's coming and going out, going on with your beautiful energy. I will, each and every one of you beautiful souls are feeling amazing, feeling grounded, balanced, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. We are going to dive in, see what you got. So the cards have to say. Right now we have uh, 358 on the clock, so that breaks down to 16, because 8 and 8 is 16. 16 reduces to 7. We have Faith Evans, and this is no other love. So that seven is what I'm getting. So the seven is your uh, crown chakra. So I do feel like spirit is telling you trust your intuition. You know, that also speaks to personal growth, learning to trust your intuition, learning to use discernment. Um, seven is also uh, dealing with the... Um, chariot card so perhaps you know establishing balance maybe that's something that you are embarking upon maybe now there is this sense of confidence you have or you are more assertive towards those things that you desire it's like you know who you are now there's no question there's no fears um and maybe that's where you're headed is headed in a direction where you will now start to uh own your power and and stand up for what you believe in um i just feel more balanced i feel like you're in equilibrium right now uh with no other love um i feel like you're focusing on you first so there's a sense of like prioritizing you uh maybe you're going after someone that you realize there's no one else out there um for you except for this person there's no other love um you know that because what she says no other love um no other love I'm thinking of. No other love, never. So she's saying that maybe it's only you I'm thinking of. No other love. So yeah, so yeah, so someone definitely feels like you're. Um, you're the only one. So this is just like you're a rare find, perhaps. Uh, maybe you're a like mind. Maybe you're someone that, you know, speaks their love language. You know, maybe there's something about you that stands out apart from the rest. Um, maybe this is your sentiment where you're attracting someone. Now we have Joe Scott, only you. So this could be your sentiment or maybe someone else's sentiment is that, you know, it's you. You know, you're the one and only you can make them feel happy or only you can fulfill some sort of emotional um, desire or need. Uh, so this is very powerful energy. Let's see what the cards have to say, my beloveds. So let's see what we have coming in and out going on. So look at this beautiful energy. So we have recognition and reward. So you all are being recognized, being rewarded with only you. I feel like there's something especially with that three, you know, that's like uh, Empress vibration. That's also, also associated with the uh, solar plexus. So it's like you have braved your life. You have braved, you know, some sort of circumstance, you know, stood your ground. Um, you trusted your gut instincts. You trusted your inner wisdom and you're being rewarded. You're being acknowledged. You're being recognized for that. With no other love, maybe you've prioritized yourself and showed self-love. And for that, you will be rewarded by coming into union with someone that speaks your love language because you love yourself. So you're going to attract self-love or you're going to attract someone that can appreciate the way that you love yourself. And they're going to amplify uh, that emotion and that feeling of love. Um, we have the triumphant success and recognition and reward here, Cancer. So there is communication coming in. There's also a different perspective that you now have. Seeing things for what they truly are. Um, I also get a sense of looking at things from a bird's eye view. Like doing things more logically or doing things with, you know, your head and heart in alignment. Um, very beautiful energy that's coming out with three and one that breaks down to four. So that heart chakra is, is definitely uh, allowing for you to um, be emotionally intelligent in circumstances uh, as well as 
uh, being logical, as I said. Uh, you could be dealing with a divine masculine, or there could be someone that could be could potentially um, expressing that there's no other love. A masculine could be could expressing or confessing their emotions, their feelings. They're seeing you uh, as a star or seeing you in the spotlight. Um, you know, maybe someone is now going to confess or express something that they may have been holding on to. With Jill Scott singing Only You, I feel like someone is really going to confess, uh, you know, that it's only been you. It's always been you. Uh, you are the one for them. I feel like this is someone who has really taken the time um, to really reflect, to gain some sort of deep introspection. Maybe they're taking onus for their past actions. There goes that emperor energy I was picking up on. So there's an emperor that's going to really express something. Uh, maybe you've cut off a masculine energy uh, to focus on only you because maybe this was someone that was very, um, very domineering, very overbearing, maybe even controlling. Maybe you've just recently, uh, you know, retired your job or resigned from a job. You know, maybe you are... Um, definitely finding it uh your your business to take control of your life you're being a leader you know you're being more uh you know determined about what you want i feel like this is something you've learned uh in some some of your experiences out how to stand your ground you know how to take action not to live in your head but to take action uh i feel like there was a lot of fog smog a lot of haze and now you're seeing your way clear uh because maybe you were under the uh control of some sort of you know authoritarian um you know this could be someone who has a history in law enforcement or military or someone who was very like i said um all, almost militant in their ways of um dealing with you maybe you feel like your work environment is very um overburdening you know you feel overwhelmed uh you feel like they're cracking whips at you but we shall see what comes in your eyes goes out we're going how beautiful cancer so let's see what we got and so we have d'angelo and this is called uh um this damn mother upper so yeah so i i'm getting strongly and with that sacral chakra that deals with the um you know that second chakra really deals with you prioritizing you moving to the beat of your drum uh going after what you want so taking you know taking the reins and and choosing what you desire you know choosing what makes you happy both of these cards looks like you know there's light there's some form of clarity you've been holding on to hope and optimism and i feel like whatever you have been speaking into the ethers through your petitions whatever you've been scribing in your manifestation journals uh whatever your affirmations mantras uh whatever you've been saying daily it's like whatever this was that you were hoping for wishing for praying for it's materializing and manifesting in this physical reality so much so that you can see that you know the hands is speaking to you receiving some sort of blessing or some sort of wish fulfillment my beautiful country so let's tap in and see what we got coming in without going on here let me get a message of how and protection for my beautiful cancers so some of you all can be dealing with someone named d'angelo or someone with a d in their name with shit damn oh pardon me with fish damn mother upper you know it could definitely be uh something that's going to be like you know something unexpected maybe some communication could be coming in but let's tap in and see because we just had that five and five deals with the you know the um with the uh, throat chakra so that speaks to you know expression whether you're expressing yourself you know through communication uh, whether someone's communicating with you um, or maybe that's just you expressing yourself artistically creatively you know the uh, but that's 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 what I'm getting so let's see what the cards have to say uh, spirit of peace power and protection bottom of the deck overall energy so look at that emotional loss here so there is definitely some pain healing from some pain see how he's applying his own hands so this is really an, a loss because maybe someone felt like they were betrayed or deceived. But every ending denotes a new beginning. Look what you are attracting to you with prosperity begins. So you've suffered a lot of pain. You've suffered a lot of agony, a lot of hurt. But you've also learned in the process, you know, you've matured emotionally. 
This has led to you learning how to heal yourself. That five is also speaking to you kind of not expressing your pain, you know, not really allowing yourselves to emote, you know, kind of like almost not dealing with those the, with the pain in, a, in an effective manner. And so it's almost like you're suffering in silence with emotional loss. You could have lost loved ones. It could have broken your heart or maybe just this emotional loss is just feeling with like you're without love, not, not feeling loved or not feeling um, like you are uh, in those type of healthy love ships, partnerships. Um, it's like it, you feel like you're at a loss. You feel like you're uh, like you're absent of something. But I feel like no one is meant to no one is meant to define you. And so that's why I feel like it's it's very important to see and to focus on how uh, he's putting his hands on his heart. So he's healing himself, and it's it's re you know it's kind of reverberating in the ethers, and this is speaking and transmitting you know a message back to you know the ethers into you know spirit source uh, that you are learning. So there's like you're learning something, you know that sun that is shining behind. This presence is bringing some form of clarity, some form of truth. So it's like you wouldn't be receiving this if you didn't go through that. That's why we saw recognition and reward. So whatever for painful loss or whatever challenging circumstances you've endured cancer, it isn't for not. It's like you're going to be rewarded for it, especially since you've done your own healing. So a lot of you cancers have healed yourself. Every great healer has to first heal themselves. So I feel like a lot of you, because five is associated with that hierophant, five is also the throat chakra, as I said. So a lot of you may be, um, you know, going through this, uh, not going, but growing through this experience, uh, which is going to prepare you and propel you uh, straight to your path, your passion. Uh, some of you will learn to express yourselves artistically and creatively based off of this emotional loss. It will help you to find your voice. It will help you to express your truth, express the pain that you may have been feeling but never felt confident or even fully knew. You probably never really knew what that pain was rooted in or how uh, that pain was, you know, how that pain developed. But now there's like this, this clarity so there's an expression. Um, you're going to learn to express yourself. And with that new form of expression, whether, like I said, artistically, creatively, or orally, communicatively, um, it will uh, trigger, you know, a healing. It will help others. You know, maybe you are teachers um, and you will be helping others through your expression, um, your art form, uh, through your lessons. You will help others heal. Um, and we have um, this prosperity begins for what you are attracting. So it's like you have planted a seed and it has blossomed. And as you could see here, this tree. So you are, you know, very firm, very, very uh, solid, a very solid person. But I also feel like you are going to develop such relationships. Uh, this tree symbolizes a family tree. Um, it symbolizes structure, protection, power. Um, it also represents, you know, a sanctuary, you know, it's, it becomes like, you know, a home, you know, for birds, many animals, insects live and reside in, in birds. So that could represent, you know, even, um, you know, a, a safety net, a home. Uh, but this shows, you know, with prosperity begins, you know, the seeds that you have planted, uh, they are now producing. They are now uh, starting to blossom and bloom and it's flourishing. It's going to flourish. It's almost like spirit saying that um, you have to uh, trust the process. You know, maybe this allowed for you to move out of uh, something that was very um, challenging, daunting. Um, and now with this prosperity begins, you, you're almost like get, you've gotten to the root cause of an issue of a problem because this one deals with the base chakra or the root chakra 
the base is, you know, like you were in the basement and now you have taken that elevator up, uh, you know, to the fifth floor, to the fifth chakra. So now there's a sense of you like realizing, you know, um, what makes you feel safe, what makes you feel secure, stable, you know, your independence is ultimately your foundation for your security and your stability. So when you heal from the past pains, when you heal from, you know, the challenges, um, the conflicts, uh, even people, you know, if there were certain people that uh, were being dishonest or being overbearing, um, I feel like now there's this, this clarity uh, of you realizing the importance of loving yourself and expressing your truth and emoting, you know, expressing um, unapologetically how you feel, standing up for what you believe in, standing your ground even. With this prosperity begins, there's a blessing, there's, you know, you're, you're, there's good things coming to you because of your actions, you know, but you put out, you get back. As above, so below. Um, what goes around, comes around. So the laws of karma, the laws of universal karma um, is saying that you are um, going to experience prosperities, uh, my beautiful uh, Cancer. So be open to that. Uh, this is a beautiful energy, Cancers. Look at that. There goes the universe. So that's like you've learned some valuable lessons here. The universe is the equivalence of like the um, world card in traditional tarot. So universe is absolutely um, very uh, proud of you. And they are the ones that are blessing you uh, with this prosperity um, that you will be experiencing. Because you have learned to navigate some really tough terrain. You know, uh, you've been through a lot of um, a lot of atrocities. You've persevered through a lot of pain, you know, and you've had to heal from a lot of trauma. And through these experiences, you would not have you would not be where you are. You wouldn't know what you know um, had you not experienced this. That's why I said there was a sense of like maturation, learning, growing, because this is also associated with the hierophant. So it's almost like, you know, like I said, every great healer has to first heal themselves. And that's what you learned. You learned how to heal yourself. You know, a lot of you also found your voice. You also took, you know, accountability, responsibility for your circumstances. So let's tap in, beloveds. We have um, Prince singing Baby, I'm a Star. So you absolutely are seen as a star. I also feel there's some blessings, wish fulfillment coming because we just saw prosperity begins. And that's really like a blessing coming from the divine, from spirit. Ones give me like that ace energy, the ace of cups, ace of swords, ace of pentacles, ace of wands. Those are like gifts from the divine. It's like the divine is handing you an opportunity. So I do feel like there is a beautiful new opportunity. And uh, as I'm speaking of ones, there goes that passion ignited. So, you know, now that you've healed, you are now following or attracting what you're passionate about, attracting what you desire. You know, this is like something that was lying dormant within you. It's now erupting. And with, uh, we have uh, R. Kelly singing, your body's calling. So that's very fitting because your body is uh, calling you to move to the beat of your own drum, to set your intention to trust your intuition, to follow that passion, to embark upon that dream with that one, that is a new start, a fresh beginning. That's also you being the alchemist. So realizing, you know, that you have the ability to change your circumstance by setting your intention and by falling, you know, following, you know, your, uh, you know, that, that calling. So that's powerful. So the divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Let me get a message for my cancers. Why is this, um, what is hidden in the, I mean, not hidden. Who is our beautiful cancers attracting to them? Who or what is cancers attracting to them? That message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have patience, number 14. So that is definitely telling you um, that you have planted the seeds. Remember, we saw the seed on that prosperity begin. So it's showing literally that you have not only planted the seed, but you set intention, you cultivated it in true divine feminine, divine masculine energy. We got three and four. So this also could be speaking to you being in balance and harmony with yourself, seeing the truth of the matter, having that clarity. You know, maybe someone, some of you all are attracting, um, you know, like your divine counterpart, a twin flame. You know, especially with that emotional loss, you have to you have to learn um, self-love. You know, that's an inside job. So a lot of you may have been, 
in some very uh, challenging connections. If it's not a connection, maybe this is just an internal battle that you was dealing with, but you really had to find some balance. Your body was calling for you to ground itself, to connect, to feel the emotions that you were feeling, um, the pain, and to heal. You know, you can see he's clutching his heart chakra. So this is about healing that self. Um, so let's see what flew out. All of your cards flew out. So we got 14 on the bottom of the deck. Patience. So I feel like Spirit is saying good things take time to create. Perhaps there's going to be um, some lessons learned uh, during this time. This is a very, um, very, a very definitive time in your life. Um, it is meant for you to embrace whatever shows up, whatever comes up, because um, I just feel like good things take time to create and whatever's being, uh, whatever spirit is conspiring behind the scenes to bring you, it's going to bring fulfillment and joy. Uh, with five and five showing up here, um, it's just showing that, you know, you've been very patient in this process of healing um, and you've aspired to get to this place where you could be more patient with yourself perhaps. Uh, it's been a struggle, you know, perhaps it's been hard to be patient because you felt like you've been waiting a long time. But I feel like whatever you're waiting for is right here and there is a new beginning. There is a new start. So that's beautiful. So we have the truth here. So there goes 20 truth. So you are coming into the truth. Maybe you were deceiving yourself. Maybe there was some self-deception. Maybe there was some confusion, um, analysis, paralysis even. But there's decisions that you're going to be making. And these decisions uh, that you're making, you're going to ensure are what brings balance, what brings that sense of equilibrium as we saw earlier. Uh, so you're seeking out the truth or you're now going to be truthful to yourself. With this seven, I'm also getting that chariot that I was feeling as well. The chariot is about the confidence. Uh, the chariot is also your card as well. So in order for you to now confidently and assertively go after what you want, um, you first have to, you know, heal from whatever that was that made you feel that lack of confidence or made you feel unsure or confused, conflicted. Um, even this where other people in your ear, um, that you listened to that were like the da -dun -da -dun crew, even if you didn't trust your own intuition. Now it's like you're, you're now realizing that you have to, uh, you have to assess. Um, you no longer can be stuck in two minds. You can no longer have other people causing, um, you know, a rift within you. So let's tap in. So you have next transformation. I can't make this up. So you have changed, you've transformed. There's a beautiful, beautiful um, ending. You know, this is a powerful time right now, as I said, celestially. A lot of transformation, a lot of shifts taking place. And it has a lot to do with the eclipse energy, this full moon in Scorpio, with all of these uh, retrogrades, you know, in Mercury, as well as in Pluto, which is Scorpio's ruling planet, by the way, um, that speaks of transformation. So across the board, even as a water sign, a fellow water sign, the sister sign to Scorpio, um, you're going to experience those um, very pinnacle uh, moments in your own life, in your own story. And I feel like you're coming into uh, the truth of who you are or what you are uh, desiring. Um, with this five and two, that's seven. The seven and four is 11. So I feel strongly like it's now time to really trust your intuition um, and make a decision based off of, you know, what you're passionate about. As I said earlier, we saw that sacral chakra and the sacral is uh, very indicative of prioritizing you, but it also speaks to moving to the beat of your drum, uh, doing what's going to bring the balance, you know, restore the balance in your life. You've been through many changes. You've had a startle and a metamorphosis, you know, um, and this has completely changed and transformed your mindset, uh, your belief systems, ideologies, maybe even some of your habits. You can see that she's shedding the old her and she is, you know, emerging as someone new with that four. This is someone who has self-love, you know, because that 13 reduces to four. So now you love yourself. You you have self-love, you know, your worth. So this is beautiful. That four deals with the heart chakra as well as that emperor. I feel like you've taken the necessary time to take accountability and take onus for where you are. And you're being honest with yourself, which is why you're now going to 
Um, you're, I'm, I'm just feeling freedom. I'm seeing you fly um, with Baby I'm a Star playing by Prince. Remember, um, you will be in the spotlight. I feel others see you as a star. Um, I feel like once you start to um, follow your intuition, it will lead you to something that will bring about prosperity and abundance. It could be something in relation to um, maybe your skills, your talents. Uh, maybe you are being told to hone your skill, hone your gifts, uh, master your craft, whatever that may be, uh, because it will uh, bring prosperity and abundance um, into your life. So that 11 is also showing me like maybe you are attracting someone that is your divine counterpart. Uh, you know, that four is also giving me like the 1111, uh, which is typically the vibration of twin flame. You know, that 1111 is four. So this could be someone that does have um, a lot of love for you. They see you as someone that is very beautiful. Maybe someone is going to speak the truth. Someone that could have deceived you in the past, broke your heart. Um, if that is a person or this could just be like I said, just a circumstance overall. So what's hidden in the energies, we have conflict and defeat. So this is stuck in two minds. This is that energy of having the dun 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 true uh, crew that was, you know, kind of like in um, kind of like causing confusion. Uh, when you are listening to other people, you're not trusting your intuition. You're not, you know, the only person you can should be conspiring with is your higher self, you know. Um, you should be conspiring with your higher self. You could, you could be communicating with spirit and source. But when you start communicating with other people, sometimes, you know, the information could get skewed. Uh, people only have the ability to communicate um, and express and give advice based off their own um, vantage point or perspective. Uh, maybe there was, you know, with this, what's hidden, this conflict and deceit, this is something that uh, you will be shedding. This is a, a part of you that you will be changing. Because this four and this five represents, um, reduces to nine, and nine is the highest vibration of change. So all of this conflict, however you, you know, you know, I feel like you, your head, you, 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 you live in your head a lot. This is like that nine of swords energy with that nine. I feel like you're shedding that, you know, it's like you're shedding the old, like I said, like the old belief systems, ideologies. We have Shade, and this is called Cherish the Day. So it's almost like spirit is reminding you to, um, you know, cherish each day. Don't take, you know, anything for granted. You know, live here now, be here now. Um, stop living, living so far into the future. Um, all we have is right now. So with cherish the day, I feel like spirit is just reminding you to be here now, be present in this now moment because you cause a lot of. Um, your own anxiety and frustration when you start thinking so far ahead uh it starts to get you to uh you know feel very conflicted or um very confused uh you start to um even find yourselves depressed so these are i feel emotional baggages these are these are things that you need to eclipse out of your life uh with five five we just had that full moon um, in Scorpio. So this is, I feel what you have to rid yourself of is, you know, this pain, you know, there's a lot of pain, um, within your heart chakra, you hold on to a lot of trauma. So you may need to do like a heart chakra ritual along, um, with a throat chakra ritual, um, maybe even a root chakra ritual. You may need to meditate. You could place, um, a stone, you know, associated with your root chakra. So maybe uh, some, um, you know, maybe amber you could get for your root chakra. Maybe for your uh, heart chakra, you could use a piece of rose quartz or maybe even green adventuring. Um, and for your throat chakra, you could use a piece of lapis lazuli and you could just lay in your bed and place it, uh, place the stones, you know, even lay on the rug or on a yoga mat. Um, and just, you know, place those stones on those particular uh, chakras, place some binaural sounds um, and just kind of like kind of visualize yourself unblocking those chakras by visualizing a beam of light coming straight from, you know, space, a beam of yellow light white light just beaming down and entering into your crown and going to each of those chakras and just you could see it like just a luminous in that chakra brightening it radiantly 
uh, to purge it from whatever that may be, you know, blocking it. But you, you, you may need to perform that ritual or perform a ritual to unblock that. But I do feel during this, this full moon, uh, you will also, um, you will start to notice there's going to be uh, just a change of perspective. You know, if you have been finding yourself having difficulty expressing yourself, I feel like you really need to start calling. And as soon as I said that, <coughs> my throat got itchy. Hold on one more. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, excuse me. Oh my God. So, yeah, definitely work with your throat chakra. Um, I feel that's a lot of blockages for you all. Express your truth. I feel when you have this transformation, whatever this change that takes place, the shift, I feel you will emerge as a better version of yourself. Like you're going to notice some noticeable changes, you know, you're going to notice a change in perhaps your perspective, but you're going to feel more independent. You're going to want to go and do things on your own. You know, you're going to want to just get rid of the crutches or get rid of the faulty belief systems. Um, and you're going to just kind of like try out these new wings that you have. You know, it's like you're going to try these new wings. You're going to fly. You're going to take that leap. You know, uh, that's beautiful what I'm feeling. That's beautiful. Look at this disruption. So this is a tower. So the tower is erupting in your life. And it's about destroy and rebuild. So this is a beautiful energy. A lot of people get afraid, you know, but what did I say? We're in Scorpio energy and Scorpio energy forces change, transformations. It, it, it is really an energy of endings but new beginnings at the same time because every ending denotes a brand new beginning and with this heart this being at the heart of the matter you know this transformation card which is your vibration and how others are seeing you how someone feels about you maybe even how you feel about you it's like you're going through a major shift in your life and this is all for a greater reason greater purpose it's all for you to come into alignment with who you are. With this disruption card, something is going to be destroyed, but you will have the ability and means to rebuild it. Because destroy is to rebuild. 13 is 4. 4 is about structure and stability. It's about, you know, really um, being sturdy within yourself, independent, self sufficient, as I said. With this disruption card, someone or something may be trying to disrupt your peace, and that's what you are going to have to X out of your life. With five and two, that's seven, seven and four, that's 11. So that's two, two and five, that's seven, seven and seven is 14, that's five. So this is a learning lesson for you. You're being shown how to express yourself. You're being taught a lesson on how to uh, be spiritually strong. You know, you have to be tested, tried and tested in order to emerge as someone that knows their worth, someone that's confident, someone that prioritizes themselves, someone that emotes or expresses their truth. I just saw a feather fly outside. Um, of my window when I looked out and said that so feathers are like angelic messages from your your uh, spirit team letting you know that they're with you so whatever you're going through that five again is associated with the hierophant so this these are powerful lessons that you're learning and with that um, Misha lay something in my heart you all are being called to trust what you're feeling as you could see here with heart this 13 reduces to four. Four is associated with the heart chakra. She's wearing a green shirt, which deals with the heart chakra. That color green deals with the heart chakra along with the pink. So I feel like something in your heart. Your heart is leading you to following your purpose and your path, your mission. Your heart is awakening you to what you are destined to do. That's why you're here working on healing. So whatever you're healing from, something in your heart has led you to doing this work. You're, fo you're being led to, to uh, follow this path. Some of you feel blocked. That's why I was speaking on, uh, you know, doing those chakra rituals or doing some sort of chakra um, <clears throat> meditations uh, to unblock those chakras. But there also could be parts of you that are, you know, feeling very bound, very stuck, very stagnant. And you're very conflicted mentally 
Uh, there's a lot of mental anguish, mental conflict. You felt defeated, but there is a light, you know, that is going to lead you to the truth. And I feel like you have to trust your intuition. Five is about speaking your truth. The throat chakra is about expression, perhaps tapping into your creativity, your divinity as a divine feminine and masculine is to create. So trusting that process to create and also speaking your truth, expressing yourself, maybe even writing things down if you have difficulty telling someone in particular how you feel with something in my heart maybe someone will confess and express their love for you or express uh something that they have been um hiding you know with conflict and defeat what's hidden this could be someone that you're not communicating with um that may feel this distance or may feel uh you know this this um this sentiment you know that they feel uh this def they have this defeatist um, attitude but with patience you know patience young grasshopper good things take time to create so I feel like spirit is working with you you know spirit is is really guiding you and healing you and, and teaching you these lessons teaching you how to heal yourself and you're maturing you know you're maturing you're learning to trust your own um, intuition so this is a beautiful reading, my beautiful Cancers. I hope the message has resonated. Um, speak your truth, express your truth, stand your ground, stand up for what you believe in, um, and continue gaining your spiritual strength because it will put you in an alignment, mind, body, and soul. Um, and consult with your higher self. That is the only person that you really need, uh, you know, to seek advice from is your higher self. So I definitely encourage you to. Uh, really continue to do your work beloveds but this is your reading i thank you so much for tuning and tapping in until next time send a big fat asheo peace